Hey guys, Kat Kerr. I love monoprinting and I also love creating dimensional art. So today we're going to do a little bit of both. Now today I'm using my 12 by 14 monoprinting plate and I absolutely love this size, especially because it allows me to make coordinating prints in a fraction of the time. By using this large plate, it gives me a huge surface area to play with. But instead of creating one print, I use multiple pieces of paper and pick up small areas of texture at a time. By using multiple sheets, I end up with coordinating papers and they all have the same textures and the same color palette. Now I'm using a lighter color acrylic paint and the same stencil on all of the prints. Next I want to add a pop of color and so I'm taking uh, acrylic paint and a brush and painting these circles directly onto the plate and then pulling a print. Now you can do this directly onto your prints, but I prefer to use the plate because I often get a ghost print. Lastly, I finish off the pages by using one more stencil, this time directly on the pages, and then I add some splatters of white paint. Now I love using my mono prints in my journals or other paper arts, but I'm always looking for something a little bit more dimensional. And so when hubby came home with these plastic reels, I just knew I had to use them in my next project. Now these are plastic, so I first covered them in a black gesso and then using a dry brush, I took some of that lighter color that I used in my prints and I just dry brushed that lighter color onto the reel, making it look aged and weathered. Now once I decided which mono prints to use in the background, I used the reel as a template and then I simply cut them out with a pair of scissors. Next, I wanted to add some sort of focal to the reel, and so I added a piece of mono print, and then I added a wood frame and some other wood embellishments. I painted them the same way as I painted the reel, and once they were dry, I went ahead and glued on the mono prints to the back of the reel. I finished this piece by adding some gold marabou art spray as well as a text to the butterfly and this piece is done. Now what I love about this project is that you can keep it as simple or you can embellish as much as you want. You can take the spaces in between each reel and decorate them individually. You can add elements just like a journal page and you can also embellish the front of that reel. A lot of possibilities. 
Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. For the complete list of materials, check out that description below. Thanks for watching.